Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this purse, which I gave to my sister for her birthday back in April. It was inspired by one I saw on Pinterest, so I decided to try to make my own version. You will need some fabric strips for the outer front and back panels, two pieces of fusible fleece, two lining pieces, a zipper that is longer than the width of your bag, coordinating fabric for the strap. There are a few different ways you can make the strap depending on what you want your bag to look like. We'll get into that later. And if you wanna make the strap that I'm making, you will need a split ring and a cute charm. To assemble the outer panels, take each of the smaller strips, place them on the centerpiece, and sew a straight line down each side using a quarter inch seam allowance. Do this for the front and back panels. Next, iron the seams to the outside, or whichever fabric is darker. I didn't realize when I was doing this how wobbly the ironing board was, but it is pretty wobbly on this video, so I hope you're not nauseous when you're watching this. If you are, just skip ahead a little bit. Anyways, take your fusible fleece with the bumpy side up and place your outer panel on top of it. Iron that in place. Now do some decorative top stitching on either side of the seams. This will look pretty and also help it stay attached to the fusible fleece. I sewed a straight stitch about an eighth of an inch on either side of the seams. You can see I'm chain stitching the pieces through and this is gonna help everything line up later. Now take your zipper and place it face down on one of the outer panels. Then take a lining piece and put that face down as well. My lining fabric just happened to be double-sided. This could be a useful trick. If you can't remember how to sandwich all this together, just use double-sided fabric. You cannot go wrong. Now grab your zipper foot and sew a straight stitch along that edge. When you're done with that, fold the inner piece around so it's wrong sides together with the outer piece. You'll have the other side of the zipper at the top. Then take the other outer panel, lay it face up, line the zipper face down, make sure you're matching all those seams up, and lay your second lining piece face down also. Pin and sew a straight stitch along that edge. Open everything up and put the zipper in the middle with an inner and an outer layer on each side of the zipper. Smooth everything down flat and then top stitch along either side of the zipper.
take your fabric for the strap, fold it in half, and press. Open it back up, fold each of those edges in towards the center, and press. Then fold it back in half and press again. If you're doing one long strip, then just top stitch as close to the edge as you can along each side. If you're doing the other version, then you're going to want to cut off a 4 inch section and top stitch along each side of that. I decided I wanted the second version of the strap after I made the first version of the strap. I ended up seam ripping a little bit off of each end of the longer strip. Put the split ring on, place both edges right sides together, and then sew a straight stitch. I then folded everything back together and top stitched along either side. This is exactly how you would do it if you didn't mess up and sew the first version first. Does that make sense? I'll leave a link up above and in the description below to a video I made with a more detailed version of how to do this. Find where the seam is in your fabric, place the split ring on top of that, and then top stitch it down. Make sure you open up the zipper most of the way, but make sure the zipper pull is still in between the fabric. And then fold the outside and the inside pieces right sides together. Pin that all the way around and make sure the zipper is pushed towards the lining. Now take either the full strap or the 4 inch section and put that about an inch down from the zipper between the right sides of the outer fabric. Sew all around the edges using a quarter inch seam allowance, but make sure you leave an opening to flip it right side out later. Take it really slow when you get to the zipper. You may have to hand crank it over that part because it's super thick and you do not want to break your needle. Trim off the excess of the zipper. Now we are going to box the corners, take the side and the bottom seam and place them together and then use a ruler to make a mark about an inch and a half down from the corner. Pick a straight line on your ruler and put it right on top of your seam. Then draw a line across the fabric and do that for all four corners. So straight across those lines that you just drew.
take some pinking shears and trim those corners down. Flip everything right side out. Don't forget to sew up that hole in the lining fabric. You can either take it to the sewing machine or hand stitch it. Add a charm to the split ring if you have one. Then add that to the tab you sewed on earlier. And voila, you are done. This bag turned out super cute and I was really hoping to surprise her and help brighten her day since we were all stuck in lockdown due to COVID. I ended up adding everything you need to make a birthday cake since we couldn't all be together. I put everything in a box. I even sent her candles hoping that she would use her birthday wish to wish that COVID was over and uh, clearly that didn't happen because it's October and we're still dealing with this. I don't know what she wished for, but hopefully she got it.